Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see web protection in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. I will just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, so web, when you are on security.microsoft.com, you can uh, find web protection reports in the Microsoft Defender portal by going into the reports. And uh, under that you will see web protection. Here it is. So what is web protection in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint? It is a capability made up of web threat protection, web content filtering and custom indicators. Now web protection lets you secure your devices against web threats and helps you regulate unwanted content. And here you will see the web threat summary or web protection reports. Now, web threat protection, the, this card that makes up web threat protection are web threat detections over time and web threat summary. Okay. Web threat detection over time and then your uh, web threat summary. It is asking me to turn on web content filtering, which I can do under settings and uh, then it will show me the web activity summary as well. Okay. Now, web threat protection would include comprehensive visibility into web threats affecting your organization, investigation capabilities over web related threat activities through alerts and comprehensive profiles of URLs and the devices that access these URLs, a full set of security features that track journal access trends to malicious and unwanted websites. Now, if you talk about custom indicators, now custom indicators detections are also summarized uh, for your organization under web threat reports, under web threat detections over time and web threats summary. Okay. Now, custom indicator would include ability to create IP and URL based indicators of compromises or IOCs to protect your organization against threats and investigation capabilities over activities related to your custom IP profiles and the devices that access these URLs. And then the ability to create a law block and warn policies for IP and URLs. We have already covered about web threat protection and web content filtering uh, in the previous videos. Now there is an order of precedence. Now web protection is made up of the components which is custom indicators, web threats and uh, web content filtering which is WCF. Now custom indicators are the IP URLs Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps policies which will allow warn or block. Then web threats, it can be a malware, it can be a phishing attack which includes smart screen, uh, in exchange online protection or the escalation and then web content filtering which is WCF. So the order of precedence relates to the order of operations by which a URL or IP is evaluated. For example, if you have a web content filtering policy, you can create exclusions through custom IP URL indicators. So if the custom uh, if the custom indicator policy is set to a law and web threat protection is set to block web content filtering policy is set to block defender for cloud apps policy is set to block it will allow the web protection so it will allow that url and web protection will be overridden and if the custom indicator policies allows and everything else is allowed and your WCF policy is blocked or Defender for Cloud Apps policy is blocked, it will be allowed per WCF exception. Okay. Internal IP addresses are not supported by custom indicators. Please make a note of it. And when you talk about protect browsers, so in all web protection scenarios, smart screen and network protection can be used together to ensure protection across both Microsoft and non-Microsoft browsers and processes. 
so we'll discuss more about smart screen in other videos but i just wanted to uh, share few things about smart screen here that it's is built directly into microsoft edge while network protection monitors traffic in non microsoft browsers and processes and you can always do advanced hunting for uh, web protection using kql or kusto query language in your tenant for up to 30 days and you can also use the same the other kql queries to list all wcf blocks originating from network protection uh, in a non microsoft browser as well all right and if you want to read more about it please go and check microsoft documentation and i hope this video was helpful for all of you if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day